Hi there, and welcome to, I think it's about the third update on cardboard baseboards. So you'll have seen the video of me making this baseboard, um, and you can get a little shot if you like and show the uh, cross section there of how it's been made from laminates of free cardboard. So, the more observant of you will notice that it is about six or seven inches shorter than it was going to be. There's two reasons for this. One is because I rashly agreed to put a bookcase in my study to get it out of the house so I could put books and model railways in it, forgetting that that's where some of this was going to go. But it also made me realise two things. One was that it's too big. It was too big to lift easily. I was going to have the same problems getting it in and out. And I got a really good book by Michael Andress from the 1980s when people used to make what were called train set model railway layouts. So this is using the basics of a, of a train set and still making a model railway. So this is really what I hope is the most compact, useful little model railway you can get. The track is uh, old Hornby manual points. I discovered these. Uh, these haven't got the big manual box like the Lima ones I was using. Uh, Richards Classic Rail at Ticehurst, three points there, 50p each, 50p, uh, instead of the five pound that some of the second hand ones go for. They are steel. The track is Mahano, uh, tempo track made for Mahano, first radius, nickel silver, but very cheap, again, about 10p a piece because nobody wants it. The ballast is the fishstone ballast that you've seen on the other video, and I think it's beginning to look rather nice. So let's run you some trains so you can see the usefulness of this layout. So excuse me a moment because I haven't given this loco much of a run. Oh, there we go. So you can see that's quite a decent sized loco. That's a Lima 262. And that can run me a passenger train round and round. I can stop it at the platform there if I want and continue as a through train. Sorry, I've got a little bit of a dead point there because the points are back to back. When I've finished running passenger trains, I can put it back into the bay platform, ready for its next journey. And that's very similar to a real railway station. Now that's exactly what they did um, because of the way the station was. I've then got the choice, if I've finished with um, running passenger trains that I can run okay I haven't given the trouble so I can now run some goods trains so I've still got two trains on the layout and I can run a goods train round and what I can also do with a goods train oh bear with me a sec I'm a lousy sig signalman when I'm filming I forget to change points And I can, this one just jams on the platform now. I've got to um, shave the platform away. And it also means if I want, I can do a bit of shunting in the goods yard because I can take those in. As you see, I'm not very good at signals. Well, we, we have a few problems with my points. I haven't debugged all my track and wagons yet, so please excuse me. But you get the idea. I can shunt wagons in and out of the goods yard. So it gives me a little bit of good shunting and it means I can run three trains round. So a few little features. Uh, we have a little lake here because I wanted a bridge. Nice and easy to do. Got a, a Stanley knife, cut away two layers of the cardboard. This is my one pound, you've seen this technique before. This is, have you got a nice zoom in on that? This is uh, my one pound ready mix filler from Poundland. Slapped on, uh, I went away from the grey for a change, so I've got a dark browny colour there. Black wash, dry brush, looks great. The river, um, blue emulsion, green metallic paint from Poundland, dabbed on with a sponge brush, and then two or three coats of varnish. I'll get the materials actually. So here we go, Poundland Ready Mix Filler, um, little tester pot of blue emulsion, metallic acrylic paint from Poundland, and this is from Poundland Gloss Finish Yacht Varnish. And this came in a box of brushes from Poundland. So paint the blue emulsion, let it dry. Then put a good splat of the metallic green all over and two or three coats of varnish. It probably wants one more coat. 
Um, but in the right light, it all reflects all the carriages and everything going over. So I was quite pleased with that. Now the factory is a super quick barn, converted quite a bit, using lots of additional little buildings I had kicking around. And all I've done is added brick paper and redone the roof, added a loading dock, and I thought a factory would make a nice change from the usual goods shed. So we've got a busy little factory yard there, which my diesel shunter can service. Um, so total cost so far next to nothing. There's a little station I'm building down here. This was going to be a little low relief station for another layout, but I've now added an entrance porch um, and I'm going to finish that off and that'll look great on there. 10 mil corrugated card as always for the platform and just brick paper on the edges and, and I'll put brick paper on the top. It, so far, I don't think it's cost me five quid. Um, if you throw all the materials in, I suppose so, but bear in mind, you know, this, I've used a fraction of that, a fraction of that, a fraction of that. Um, so it's gonna be a nice cheap little layout and it's gonna be an old fashioned, let's watch some trains running round and round and do some shunting layout. Uh, so I'm, I'm gonna be rather pleased with it, I think. It'll, it'll give me a little project to do and when we can't get into the loft because it's cold it'll give us somewhere to run some trains. As always let me know what you think. We've got um, about 20 people so far subscribed for our e-newsletter that's out in January. We've got some nice features in there so if you're interested in receiving that click on the link, send us a little email and email we will, email. little link on the screen and um, we'll include you in the mail shop for our e-newsletter, which we're preparing over Christmas. Send us your models. So, um, very interested to see your own pictures of budget model railway products uh, and projects, and we'll include those in future editions. We've got quite a few for this one. And as always, like, comment and subscribe. Big thank you, we're over 200 subscribers now. So thank you very much, everybody. Hope you enjoyed this little video. Love to hear what you think. Have a little traditional old-fashioned uh, train set model railway now.